Hey everyone, welcome back to Music Theory for Beginners. I'm Isabella and today we will be going over diatonic chords. Diatonic may sound like a very complicated word, but diatonic chords are actually quite simple. Diatonic chords are chords made up of notes from the home key. For example, F major diatonic chords will only contain notes from the F major scale. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, and E. Similarly, G major diatonic chords only contain notes from the G major scale. Now let's take a closer look at the diatonic chords of a G major scale. Because there are seven different scale degrees, there are seven different diatonic chords, all with root notes that are in the G major scale. To build a diatonic chord, there are three main steps. First, place the notes of the G major scale. This is shown right now. Second, add the thirds and fifths of the triads. Notice it will be line, 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 or space, 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 because thirds and fifths are stacked this way. Lastly, add accidentals accordingly to ensure that all notes are from the G major key. In this case, we need to make sure that all Fs are F sharps. You can also think of this using key signatures. For G major diatonic chords, if you write in the key signature, then build all your diatonic chords, you will automatically have all the corresponding diatonic major chords without having to add any accidentals. So this key signature will apply to all the F sharps. Besides being named using chord abbreviations with the root note letters such as G major or A minor, diatonic chords can be named based on the scale degree of the root note. The first chord is called the one chord because the root note G is the first scale degree. When using this naming system, Roman numerals are used. The second chord is the two chord. Notice how the two chord is minor. Because it is minor, lowercase Roman numerals are used. When this naming system is applied to all of the diatonic chords, this is what you get. The pattern of the chord qualities is major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, and diminished. This is the case for all major scales. The four chord will always be major and the seven chord will always be diminished. With this pattern, you can easily build any major diatonic chord. Minor diatonic chords are a bit more complicated and we will not go over them in this video, but these are the corresponding patterns of the minor chord qualities. Notice how the natural minor, harmonic minor, and melodic minor diatonic chords are all different. And this is because all those scales are different. That's it for today's lesson on diatonic chords. As always, we'll be posting new music theory videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So be sure to stay tuned for new updates. Feel free to subscribe, like, and share the video with friends if you found it helpful. Comment down below if you want us to make a video on a specific topic. See you next time on Music Theory for Beginners.